I have a voice of a siren. Shucks. Hello everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing Silent Echo by Elisa Freelich. If you have not guessed, this book is about sirens. Do you guys like my siren makeup? Yeah. So Silent Echo is about this girl named Portia and she is mute. She has been mute her whole entire life, but that is until she finds her voice and it is beautiful. It is a siren's voice. Yes, like the mythological sirens with the beautiful voices who lure in sailors from the sea. Those type of sirens. This book is actually based off of Homer's Odyssey. So cool. If you have not read Homer's Odyssey, which I have because I had to read it for school, you will probably still get what the heck's going on because you probably have heard these stories before, like the sirens, Zeus, Hades, all that fun stuff. Also, this review is spoiler free, so do not worry, you can stay for the duration of this video. Okay, so this book is very based around music, and honestly, I'm not that musical of a person whatsoever. When I get in the car, I listen to audiobooks, not the radio. True story, guys, true story. So when I heard that this book is very musical, I was like, okay, um, I hope I can relate to this book and the music that's in the book because music is a huge part of the story and I did not want to be left out of any of it. But I was pleasantly surprised that I still love this story even though there's lots of music in it because it felt really relatable too because Portia is a very down to earth character that I really enjoyed reading about. And I found that it was a really interesting storyline, especially at the beginning of the novel, when she was mute and she could not sing or anything, but she still loved music and all its beautifulness. And I thought that was really fantastic knowing that. She had a great spirit even though she was disabled with her voice and she could not really enjoy music to its full potential, but she still found a way to. So a majority of this book, Portia signs. Sign language, if you do not know what that is, it's like you're speaking with your hands. So I thought it was really awesome when she was speaking to people in sign language, so instead of it's like, Portia said this, I said, Portia signed this. And I thought that was really cool and really interesting to see. I also love seeing the mythological aspects of this book because I love mythology. I think it's so interesting, especially with sirens because I've never read about sirens before. The author, Elisa, has this way of speaking to the reader through words and it's such a beautiful way because this book was so well written that it was so enjoyable to read. And it had a really interesting love triangle that was very, very well done. Usually love triangles are a bit annoying if they are not done right, and this love triangle was wonderful. So the love triangle was between Portia, Felix, and Max. Max is the new kid. He is beautifully gifted with music, so that was really cool seeing that. And then Felix is her deaf best friend, and I thought that was a really beautiful friendship they had, that he was deaf, she was mute, and they still formed this beautiful friendship that has lasted so long. Elisa made it really hard for me to choose between Max and Felix because they were such great characters that I feel bad about picking them, so I'm not picking teams. Nah. -uh. Sasha is going to stay neutral. And the conflict in this book was so mysterious and so just interesting to read about and seeing this whole entire conflict unfold before your very eyes. It's like, whoa, plot twist after plot twist after plot twist. Also, Portia's character development was flawless. I loved it. I thought it was very interesting to see her character kind of grow and become somebody more. And it was so interesting to see. Honestly, when I went into this book, I did not know what to expect because I've never read a book about sirens, but I was very pleasantly surprised and I ended up loving this book. I was actually reading Silent Echo and one minute I was starting it, the second minute I was on page 50 and it was only like, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. You do not know how far you've gone in this book until you take a break and actually see. This book just like makes you keep on wanting to flip the page and when you finally notice what page you're on, you're like, oh, high five. Look how far I read in just that short amount of time. I've actually tried to sing some of the songs in this book and it sounded not like a siren's voice but like a frog trying to sing a lullaby. Yeah, it was bad. It was, it was rough. Holy crap. I don't know if there's another book in the series but there should be. I'm just saying there should be a second book in the series because it was really good and the ending I don't know what to think at all. So I hope there's a second book because if there is I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy it soon whenever it comes out. My only criticism for this book would be that the points of views, although I like them, they kind of got jumbled. It was kind of hard to figure out who was speaking when and what, and I just wish it wasn't like that. I wish it was more clear, but once you know who was talking, it was fine. So after reading Silent Echo, I've been Googling more siren books. So if you guys know of any good siren novels, tell me in the comments below because I would love to know. I give Silent Echo a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys do too. So go pick up a copy and tell me what you guys think if you have not read this book yet. That's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.
I fail at singing? 